We don't want to start like this. Why? We would never back to something. Yeah, because you should be situationally aware. Right? As best we can. If it happens and you're sitting at your locker and somebody grabs you, or you're at the mall or whatever, maybe you get snuck up on, but we want to think about situational awareness before that happens. So he'll start by just kind of turning me and putting me into the bear hook. Now let's talk about, we're going to go into, the, into a hold in a second, a lock. But let's talk about all of our opportunities. Most people will leave their face right there. So you just slip to the side and you elbow him. And he'll forget about hanging on to us when his nose is bleeding, broken. Or he's eating his teeth from getting his mouth shoved, right? So that's the first thing. Also, when you slip aside, look what opens up. What is this? Opportunity is groin. So you don't even need to risk going onto one foot to hit him in the groin, kick him in the groin. You just slip aside. Now look, you're nice and strong. We got top of foot, guys. We all listen to it. Listen to them. Everybody's got those nice small little bones in the top of their foot. We'll take those those with us too. So we break those. We break those. We break that. Right. So those are all things that we'll do before we even worry about going into any cool grabs. Because we're, our our arms are free. If they're not free, that's a different technique. So we're here. We've done this. He's buried his head. He's got iron iron feet, they don't work. He's got the tops of his hands aren't iron. So those little bones on the top of their hands hurt. I like to pick whichever hand is on top is the one that I'm stri obviously striking because it's there. And then I use my other hand to grab a hold of, the, of his hand. So I'm striking it with this hand, I hit him a couple times. When it loosens up, I'm holding it with the other. So I'm almost cross grabbing him. This is important. You quickly run over here. So really think about your footwork of getting, think about kind of getting behind him. I'm turning his hand so his pinky's up. See the pinky's up. What that does is it's straight, that makes his elbow on top. So it's a, that's a little key tip. So you go up and then straight down. Or you go up Notice I'm running this way, and I'm now it's turning. But I want this leg away from him. I don't want to come here. That's why in the very beginning I said run behind him. Because if all I do is I escape and I go like this, look at my leg. He's gonna he's gonna shoot on you. So you want to take your legs away from that opportunity for him. Two ways to do it, Mr. Carter. Tell me where you're feeling this pain. Where is it? Right in the funny bone. In the funny bone. I'm pulling this hand up and I'm using my elbow to push down so it's hyperextending his arm angry wow you know you do whatever if it bends you just keep going where are you feeling that shoulder in his shoulder so it creates a shoulder lock so you have two options there three you just strike now once you get him down on the ground entirely up to you here <laughs> right? I mean, it really doesn't matter what you do. You can, you can leave this lock on and break them. But I like to think about if I got him on the ground, I don't want to stay on the ground I don't because I don't know who else is going to attack me. Boom, we do all these things. Pow, pow. Bust that. Down, 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 down. You take him down, maybe you launch up, <laughs> bust his ribs, and then see who's next, right? Yes, sir. Run away. Okay? Slip off one track or the other. That opens up opportunities, okay? Go ahead and, and, he can, and, and watch my height. I go from here to here. So you see my, my center of gravity shrunk. That makes me heavier. So now I'm in, a, I'm in an earth mind. And it's, it's breaking. You can see his posture is broken now, right? I'm not doing this. I'm doing this, okay? Come look. As I'm sliding around, watch this hand. Because I said here, this is good. 
but I'm gonna go ahead and keep my momentum going. And as I keep it going, watch this hand. I come around and it starts to snake. And now I've grabbed my own t-shirt, my gi, my arm if I'm wearing, if I'm not wearing enough clothing, my jacket, whatever. And then I just keep on turning as I bend towards the ground. So it really kind of, you, you think about it, you go low, you're still low, low, and then you just keep going lower. You're making that, that going down the drain. I'm rushing this way. As I am, my hand snakes. So I, I go for this. Oh my gosh, she's so strong. I, oh. I'm grabbing my gi, my arm, whatever's there. Gi would be best if we don't walk around with the gi. <laughs> and keep turning as you're bending knees. And then keep turning. Run, run. S snake my hand in. I'm gonna keep turning. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. Keep turning. Oh, he's tapped. Oh. Oh. And run away. Okay? Awesome, let's have fun.